Hello, I'm Wilfried Lemlenreich. I'm professor for smart grids at the Alpen Arte University at Klagenfurt. And together with my team, we are working on engineering of self-organizing systems with evolution. The interaction of soccer players is a nice example of self-organizing system where a number of interacting agents create an emergent global team play. However, finding interaction rules for the players so that the local behavior of many players yields an expected global behavior is a hard problem. By implementing an evolutionary algorithm, the researchers can make the computers solving this problem for them. The evolutionary algorithm gets some objectives for the final behavior of the team. For example, to spread over the field, possess the ball, pass it to other players and to shoot at the opponent's goal. The evolutionary algorithm derives a neural network that implements this behavior. In the first generations, the players stumble around at the field. But over several 100 generations, a team play with a specified behavior evolves. For the Soccer World Cup, the Professor Ermenreich and Sergei Javcek evolved teams based on the offense, defense, passing and man marking strategies of the participating national teams. This way, they created neural network controlled models of every team, which were then matched against each other to create an oracle for the World Cup. It was interesting to see how many different strategies and behaviors can be generated by applying an evolutionary approach. It's really amazing that such simple agents with limited information about environment and other agents are able to play soccer as a team. Let's see the final match of the Soccer World Cup 2014. Yeah, that's the final game here, Germany against Argentina. That's how close they were. Now the Argentinians take their chance to run over the German goal. Yes, yes, that's great. This was a horrible sequence for the German, but here they are. Now they are in the lead position. Oh, Argentina get the ball back, but the Germans can discover the ball. Where's the defense? Where's the defense? Where's the Argentina defense? The Germans run through the goal, and, and, and this is very close. This is the goal for the Germans. Germans lead with the first goal. That was a close shave, a wonderful cross, a nice movement, and a joy to watch for me. So the, the Argentinians went back and they put much more pressure on this game. But there is the whistle of the end. So German wins the FIFA World Cup 2014. Great congratulations. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to know more about our research, please visit the links below. Goodbye.